Hey, I think I found the best combination of paint and sealant to at least use a Master Universe Origins plastics. Here's a pair of legs I have sanded and painted. The sanding was your basic prep work, you know, to clear out any areas where there'd be a lot of plastic rub and articulation, hips, knees, and where the joint you have to worry about, and then washing them. And then I put about, I think this was three coats to get a good solid coverage of the color I mixed. And then one layer of sealant on top. And this stuff is really hardy. I've been traveling with this custom for a little bit just to see how it would go with uh, traveling. No damage in that. I'm going to press really hard with this toothpick. Not doing anything. It's really hard to show this on camera, I'll admit, but I'm trying to go hard with this with one hand. Uh, but yeah, it's not doing any damage. Chip on my fingernail quick. No damage. And I think this will hold to pretty much your basic everyday wear and tear. You could damage it, of course, with like a knife or any hard metal piece. And it can get damaged by hard-pressed abrasions. So, for example, when I was putting the hips back on into the waist piece here, the tops did rub, and I lost some paint in the very top of the hips. I still need to fix up. But that's not in standard articulation use. That was purely in reassembly. So what seems like for everyday wear and tear and potentially posability, maybe even playability, this works really well. The base paint that I used as a starting base is the Folk Art Multi-Surface Paints. It's just cheap stuff. It's buck fifty a bottle, I think. And uh, you can mix all your hobby paints in with it to get better colorations because the color uh, selection of this is a bit limited. But the actual like formula of this paint, for whatever reason, grips this plastic super well. I can't say it'd work on all plastics for all action figures, but it's worth a shot. It works great on this. But it can still be damaged in that state. So then I put one coat of the Tamiya Flat Clear on it. And this is the brush on, and there is a spray version, I believe, which I have not used. I'll have to experiment with that, but this stuff works fantastic on this plastic. Smells awful, so wear a mask when you use it, but this stuff holds up super well. It feels fantastic, has a nice smooth feeling in your hand. It's not tacky, it's not like attracting dust. It has that nice sort of light satin finish to it, which matches factory plastic and paint fantastically. This is a great combination. So I think this might be the go-to for these sort of customs. I'll have to experiment with other lines. I do have some other things planned to try us on, and I'll let you know.